Treaty of Waitangi is the founding document of New Zealand. The Treaty of Waitangi was signed on the 6th of February 1840. We now celebrate this day as an agreement between the British Crown and more than 500 Māori chiefs. Britain ruled an empire that included New Zealand. The treaty promised that Māori would keep their chiefs over their land and what was important to Māori. Waitangi Day became a nationwide public holiday in 1974. The government agreed to make Waitangi Day a public holiday in 1974 too. Honohiki was the first Māori chief to sign the treaty. After the treaty was signed, Hiki became disappointed that the, these changes didn't have major benefits to his people. He became frustrated with the increasing control of the British government over the Māori people. In 1844, the flagstaff on Maiaki Hill was cut down by Hone Heke and his fellow supporters in an act of protest. He did this because he didn't like how the British were taking his land after the treaty had been signed. The flagstaff was re-erected but cut down repeatedly. After being relocated to Russell, the flagstaff was cut down again. This act contributed to the beginning of the Northern War in New Zealand. In 1850, Hone Heke died of tuberculosis. His burial place remains a secret known to only a few people. Hone Heke had a close friend called Henry Williams, who was a missionary. He was born in 1792 in England and joined the British Navy when he was 14. He came to New Zealand with his family in 1813 and set up a missionary school for Māori children. There were two different versions of the treaty, English and Māori. William Hobson was the one who began to write the Treaty of Waitangi. Henry William's son, Edward, translated the treaty, the English Treaty of Waitangi to the Māori, Māori version. James Busby was born in 182. James Busby came to New Zealand on behalf of the King of England in 1833. Growing lawlessness in New Zealand meant Māori chiefs petitioned the king asking for help. James Busby was sent and his job was hard, as he had to be in charge of all the settlers of the settlers without any police or military to help. He worked with the chiefs of Northland to choose a flag, the United Tribes flag. When William Hobson felt too sick to write the Treaty of Waitangi, James Busby had to take over. He wrote the treaty in a hurry in the days leading up to the 6th of February so that it would be ready in time for the meeting organised with the Māori chiefs.